All right. Let's go ahead and get to my first guest of the evening. He goes by the name of V Always Here. And he is literally here on the phone calling in right now. What's good, man? What's up? How's it going? Thanks for having me, man. Thank you. Appreciate you for calling in. Um, just been listening to this album, No World Model. Um, it's a dope album. Definitely enjoy it. Um, you have quite the story of how you got into music. Um, so that is exactly how I want to start um, with this interview. Um, how did you um, how did you get started into it? Um, what what inspired you? Um, how did you started doing music? Yeah, man. Well, first of all, thanks for checking out my album. It means a lot. Uh, but yeah, you know, uh, kind of a long story. Well, I mean, it's not too long, but it started a while back. Uh, you know, I was very little, probably second grade or something like that. And, um, came home from school one day over in Russia. That's where I was born and raised in uh, Siberia where it's very cold. And, uh, you know, didn't grow up speaking English or anything like that, but came home from school one day, you know, from my Russian school in my little Siberian town and, uh, you know, turn the TV on just to, you know, chill before doing homework, you know what I mean? And uh, MTV was on. And uh, I don't remember what it was exactly because I sat there and watched, and I ended up watching probably like 20 music videos and, you know, I just loved it. It was, you know, in music in English, you know, American music, and I just loved it. Couldn't understand a, a single word, but I just loved the way it sounded, loved the vibe of it. And uh, all of that. So, you know, I told myself I, 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 I want to be just like that. And that, that was kind of the very first time that I decided to pursue music. Yeah, so those were the days back when MTV actually played music video. Um, they yeah. recently celebrated its 40th anniversary. I'm like, wow, I can't believe they've been around for that long. And they celebrated yeah. they celebrated their 40th anniversary with an all-day marathon of ridiculousness. I mean, that just <laughs> that just tells you oh, no. yeah, how far that MTV is falling or kind of distance themselves from the initial to the M in MTV, that is music. Uh, but, you know, anybody that grew up watching MTV, you live through a good time. And just seeing all the videos, all the artists that we grew up looking up to, um, those were good right, times. Right, right. But it was also the only way for us to, you know, see that stuff. Now it's, it's not the case anymore. Mm -hmm. But yeah. So, um, as you mentioned, you know, you grew up in Russia and then you moved to Los Angeles back in 2013. Um, so talk about your early years in Russia and, and, and what led you into moving here to America, uh, to, to L.A. Right. Uh, I mean... There's nothing really to tell, you know, I went to school, graduated high school, you know, was doing music uh, in Russian for a little bit, and I've been making music for about, I want to say almost 15 years now, and, uh, you know, a very big chunk of that time, I didn't even release anything. Uh, I was just kind of doing it for me, practicing, you know, trying to, you know, get better and stuff like that, and uh, started learning English when I was about 14 years old, because that's when I really got serious about you know, really making music in English, really trying to make it as a as an English speaking, you know, artist and musician. And uh yeah, and kind of along the way I, I just, you know, I you know, got my first kind of uh success in English and progress with the language. So I was like, you know, I I, I really think I can do this. And uh I kinda of got more confident with it and um you know, then I was like, you know, I need to move to L.A. I need to move to uh, the U.S. 
and something that I, you know, would never even say before. And I was like, you know, I'm confident now. I can do it now. So, you know, let, let me try it. Let me, you know, see what I got to do to make it happen. And uh, I moved out here to L.A. when I was uh, 17 years old. Mm-hmm. Definitely um, going from one country to another, um, and then you pursued music. Um, and from the looks of things, you know, you definitely found your thing in music, found that passion, um, and you haven't looked back ever since. Um, you're making great strides musically, and let's talk about this debut album. Now, you you released some, some music prior to the album, No Role Model, but this is your, this is literally your uh, debut full-length album, No Role Model. Um, talk about working on this this album. From my understanding, 100%. This is self-produced in your own in your own studio, um, using Logic along with program instruments, piano, guitar, and and some other um, instruments. Uh, talk about working on this album, and, and what's the story behind the title, No War Model? Yeah, for sure. For sure. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, it is 100% self-produced, you know, written, uh, mixed, all of that. Uh, you know, I'm, I take pride in being a self-sufficient artist and, uh, you know, definitely uh, even growing up, you know, trying to experiment with music, I, you know, figured out I, I can't be waiting on nobody. You know, I, if, if I want to make music, I got to take charge and take control. And, uh, you know, I learned how to do all of that. But no role model. Uh, yeah, you know, I just never before that I had never felt like I had enough to say for a full length project like that for, you know, a full body of work. So I was just dropping singles and I had an EP as well. Uh, but, you know, the pandemic and everything, I, you know, I was paying more attention to people in my life, you know, friends and people surrounding me, really listening to their stories you know, almost like with a different set of ears and kind of found inspiration and in all of that, you know, everything going on around me kind of uh, inspired the whole thing. And obviously I wrote all of that from my own perspective. You know, I took those stories and told them as if they were my own. And I try to find angles, you know, on how to relate to every single story and, you know, found something from my life as well that I could kind of connect that with. And, you know, the title of the album is, you know, me not being perfect. And it kind of, uh, it's, it's a message about making music too. You know, a lot of artists, a lot of young artists starting out, you know, I've, I've been guilty of that as well, trying to chase perfection and, you know, not releasing any music at all because it's not perfect or, you know, whatever the case may be. And, you know, it's it's kind of, you know, this whole album, you know, I did a good job, I think, mixing it and everything. It sounds great. But, you know, the, the, the songs, the things that I'm talking about, the things that I'm saying, you know, some of that, that stuff is ignorant. Some of that stuff is emotional. And uh, it's uh, not perfect. It's not polished. It's kind of, uh, you know, rough around the edges. And that's kind of what No Real Model means. Cool. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Um... I have three favorite songs on this No Role Model album. I like You and I. I know what they are. I like You and I. I like um, Don't Lie. I like that track too. And the third favorite is AF. Um, I like that as well. Um, definitely a unique sound on your part. Um, you put in a lot of work. Um, and with this being self-produced, man, as an independent artist, man, that's that's impressive to me. Um, because yeah. yeah, this is this is literally all you, um, putting this album together. Um, so anyone yeah. that's able to pull that off, given how music is and how it could be a definitely a collaborative thing at times, man. I got to give you props on that, man. This is an impressive uh, 
full length debut album that you got here. Um, you can check out the album No Role Model on all digital music platforms. The name of the artist is V Always Here. Um, so definitely go go check that out. Um, Thank you. I appreciate that. So it's it's been out since I believe this past March. So um so definitely go yes, March. Yeah. So definitely go go check it out, go give it a listen. Um so with this album being out and you just vibing, you got a lot of vibing in, on this album and just people listening to it and um people enjoying it. Um, what is next for VR is here? Um, are we more shows, um, collaborations? Um, what, what's next on the horizon for VR is here? Yeah, you know, uh, definitely more music for sure. I actually have a brand new single dropping uh, August 13th, Friday the 13th, um, you know, kind of uh, celebrating uh, a new era. In, in my music, yeah. Okay. You know, you definitely you know, keep it things going. August the 13th. What's the name of the song? Bad. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. August the 13th, brand new single from VR is here entitled Bad. Um, and it's coming out um, this coming Friday, literally next week. Um, so, yes. so coming go. Up. So that's that's gonna be a dope. I've almost, I'm already following you on Spotify, so I'll be expecting that to be on my release radar on Friday next it will week. Be. So it will be. definitely, definitely, man. Um, I enjoy um, chatting with you. I enjoy hearing your story. You definitely represent for people of you know your skin, your your skin color. Um, from for your people in Russia, and you're definitely showing that hey man, if you got a dream, you got um, you got a dream, you go for it. You're gonna go through ups and downs, obviously, but if you just set your mind to it and just go for it, you know, any, anything's possible. Um, and with that being said, V, uh, what's your advice to all the inspiring musicians that's trying to? To, to break through that's trying to get into music or at least get that starting point of what would your advice be to um, the um, up and coming musicians out there? Yeah, man. Uh, you know, there's so much music out right now and coming out pretty much every week and uh, you know, pay attention, listen, the blueprint is there. Uh, take it and make it your own. You know, don't don't try to sound like someone else. Take what's already out and make it your own because there's a lot of artists out there, but there's only one of you. So you know, don't don't be afraid or ashamed of you know putting yourself out there because you know no one is just like you, and uh, I, that's the biggest one. You definitely made. A valid point with that. Um, nobody could be you, but you. Um, it definitely could be challenging as far as what direction you want to go musically, um, what what approach you want to go. Um, but just just get a feel. Just listen to who's out there. Find out some influences here and there, and and go with that, and and see what it takes you. And make sure you surround yourself with um, people that's going to help you, that's going to push you into um, fulfilling your dreams and goals and aspirations. You don't need no yes people around you. You need people that's that's going to really um, just be there and, and just even show you tough love sometimes. Um, so that's definitely. Right. So go check that out. A VR is here. No role model. The album is out already. Go stream it. Go buy it. Go purchase it. The man literally did this a hundred percent by himself. Uh, so yeah, please go buy the album and go go spread the word about it. And be on the lookout for the new single "Bad" coming out 
on um, the 13th, that's coming Friday. Uh, it's a pleasure chatting with you, V. Thank you so much for your Thank time. You I enjoy chatting with you. Continued success. I look forward to the new song, Bad. And uh, thanks again for your time, man. I appreciate you.